Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here. Before I show you this video, I want you to know this was a spur of the moment video. It's a bonus video. It's a, it's not a planned video. Um, I brought a water guy in. I had to have him drive like an hour because I couldn't find anybody to do what I needed to be done at my home. Um, so let's get the video started, but it's not a sponsored video. I wasn't paid. Uh, everything you saw was spur of the moment. I literally whipped my phone out of my pocket and started rolling. So. Uh, enjoy what I have to tell you and uh, I hope it changes your life it's gonna be changing mine I can't wait and I'll give you updates as things get better so as you guys know I've been suffering from kidney stones since I moved to Tennessee because the water I'm getting out here is craptastic it's got lime rock in it and cow just a bunch of garbage it smells like bleach so uh, Mark Robinson's uh, doing a, a water test on the system I'm gonna show it all to you we're gonna see what's going on you ready let's do it okay so you're running the water You've been running it a while. Why do you just let it run like that? Are you trying to get something? Well, deep? what I'm doing is getting a fresh active sample so that you will be impressed as to what's going on with your water. Right, so you're flushing out all the water in my house as it's in the pipe. Just like you were taking a shower. So right. now you get a, a chance to see how much chlorine's in there, how much stuff is in the water. Okay, so what are we doing first? All right, so what we're gonna do, uh, I've drawn two mild acids in the water. It's called a precipitation test. So I'm gonna show you the limestone that's in the water. This test kit is put together by the Lamont Chemical Company for actual field tests. So oh we're God. actually official. Look at all that. So what we're doing is we're gonna take these two mild acids, we're gonna introduce them into your water. Hold on, hold on, slow down, slow down. I gotta, I gotta follow you here. All right, what is that, those two bottles that you had, right? Two precipitation chemicals to break down the limestone. Got it, okay. We're gonna introduce those into your glass of your warm water. And what does that do to the water? This is, it doesn't add anything to it. It just makes what's in it show up. Okay. So, so like a black light to blood or something. Yes, and so what we also want to do, of course we're in a skeptical world. Right. We want to go ahead and take your filtered water ice cubes. All right, so you got my filtered through the refrigerator Through the refrigerator, cubes. I didn't bring ice with me. I took this right from your refrigerator that has that activated carbon filter. Okay. I'm gonna take your glass of warm water. Right. I'm gonna introduce to that your ice cubes. I'm gonna put a little light underneath it and you'll get a chance to see the stuff falling out of your filtered water ice cubes. This is what causes the gallstones, kidney stones, hardening of the arteries, certain kinds of arthritis. What? This is what coats your entire That's skin not every time. No sir, bubbles. And as it gets toward the center, the bubbles evidently are chunks. Oh wait, bubbles, bubbles go up, don't they? Bubbles go up. These are pieces of limestone, which is why your water is so hard. This is what accumulates around your shower stalls. It coats your skin. No. This is what causes eight out of the 10 skin problems because we put a system in and eight of the 10 go away. Now I'm gonna show you something that you normally don't see. You're seeing chunks of things. This is, it is finally going to start showing you the stuff that's coming out of the water. It's hard to show you on camera, sorry guys, I'm trying It's to... absolutely okay because this is gonna be so thick that, uh, that your neighbor from across the street can see it. All right, now we're going to start talking about the chlorine and how it affects your everyday life. Now we're going to do several things. We've got some spinach leaves here. We're going to put this right into the water that we drew okay. straight from the tap. We measured everything out to where it'll all be as close to efficient as we can. Right. Second, I'm going to need your hand. I'm going to have you put your hand in here, knuckles, and just kind of wiggle it. Just put it all the way. Keep it there for a minute. Okay. While that is it's happening. It's cold. It's cold. All right. It came from here. We let the water run to get a good fresh active sam sampling. We did this just exactly right. All right. So I'm, I got my hand in water. Got your hand in water. And we I'm got filming this going on at the right. same time. Then we're taking the uh, Clorox OTO for swimming pool test. Right. We're testing this to see exactly how much chlorine bleach that we have in the water right. according to the Clorox company. Now right. to give you an idea of what this does, we're going to uh, we're going to look at this as though it is like a swimming pool. One is ideal for a swimming pool if you have total ownership of who do, who's in that pool. Uh -huh. You can get, keep the kids from peeing in it. Right. The second is if it's a neighborhood pool, and the third or the highest level is what you would find on the municipal level. Right. As you can certainly see, this is twice as much as allowed in a municipal pool. So. Bottom line, if you went swimming and it had this much chlorine in the local YMCA, the lifeguard would be motivated to tell you to get out of the pool. 
Well, wait a minute. Where did we get this water? We got it from your sink. Well, wait a minute. I shower in this water. Yes, right. you do. That means that that chlorine is going into my skin. If you would take right. your hand out of that water. Okay. Pat dry your hand. Thank you. This does not mean we're going steady. No, please. Now we're going to take the same product. We're going to put two drops of this uh -huh. right in this water. Okay. Well, why are you doing that? Because if there's any chlorine in there, it would indicate. Wait a minute, I want to see that again. Let's go ahead and go right back to your water. Let's, okay. let's prove ourselves here where it covers the bottom. Right. So now we're going to put this on something white, moving just a little bit. Okay. This water came out of your tap. We're using exactly the same solution. Right. So this is an indicator that this water's got chlorine in it. Okay. Now my question is, where did this water with chlorine? It's in your left hand. What? You put your hand in there. If you would take this water okay. that came from this tap, Right. In your container. Uh-huh. And put all of this in your mouth and spit it right back into the same container. All right, let's do that. Okay, so this is getting kind of weird now. This is very weird. Here we Ready go. You see this. Here we go. Ready? Put it on your mouth and spit it all back into the same container. Swish around. <laughs> I just, I had a thought of maybe, uh, I had a thought of maybe food came out of it, too. Like, did I not brush? Did I not? There's no chlorine in there. Wait a minute. Where did that water come from? Now, we're going to take the sample that you did not. Hold on a minute. All right. So, this water right here, I spit it out. He put the drops in, and there's no chlorine in it. Okay? Okay. So, that's what I put in my mouth and spit back out, and he put these drops in there. Nothing. Same water from my tap that I didn't put in my mouth right there. <laughs> so, all that just went into my kidneys, and it's starting to stone. All right, great. There, it's all been absorbed into your body. Okay, so this is the last test for this video. What are we doing now? All right, we're taking the same amount of water that we took and all measured. This is the water coming right out of your tap. This is the water came out of your tap and we literally soaked uh, your, uh, baby your, spinach. your baby spinach because a lot of people wash the products that they're going to Did consume. you say wash? You wash. Said wash. And I'll That's say school too if you it's, give me a chance. No, it's all good. <laughs> okay, so that like I was washing my vegetables. Why well, right? you everybody washes their vegetables. However, right. they take their organic vegetables and they wash them with with chemicalized water and they're no longer organic anymore. Right, let's go ahead and do the same thing. Now we've still got little floaties in there. This is the water that this baby spinach, spinach came in, from. Right? We're we're gonna still do our little Clorox chlorine test with the OTO. There is no chlorine. And there's chlorine right there. <laughs> so the spinach absorbed all the chlorine out of that so water. If you're not drinking it, you're eating it. If you're not eating it, you're absorbing it into your skin when you take a shower. If you have babies and you give them a bath, oh, shame on you. All right, what are we looking at here? This, your glass, your warm water precipitated out. Now you can see all the nasty stuff. What is that? Garbage. That is the limestone that causes more gallstones. We're, we're known as the rock quarry of water. Are you serious? Well, of course. And oh, you are an my absolute wife is gonna reason. freak out. I would deduct it off my taxes because this is a medical emergency. Not only that, but it's for the show. <laughs> serious. I use all this water on the show. Absolutely. I am so glad I filmed this and I am so glad I shared this with you guys. All right? Now, I don't know where you live, and I don't care. If you live locally where I live, in like Middle Tennessee, you obviously want to call Robertson Family Water. But if you live anywhere else, I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the information down below, and he will ship to your home, have somebody put it in, whatever, uh, whatever it takes. But I'll have all the information down below. My mind is blown right now, guys. I feel nasty. I feel dirty. I have chlorine all over my body, in my mouth, on my food, and I've never probably ever had organic vegetables in my house. And I love when you guys are like, you didn't rinse your vegetables. Yeah, because it's got poison. All right, we'll see you guys later on the next episode. Take care. I love you. God bless.